Hey, what's up? Chanel, welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. My nephew jammed up my fingers. All I had was some scotch tape. These things happen. Today we're going to be blasting and going over Raw Addict. Pretty sure this is demo number two. Hails to Joshy Rotten. He sent a three-piece combo over of Gore Noise, Gore Grind, Mints. I throw that all under the Gore Grind umbrella just because I'm lazy. But Raw Addict, compared to yesterday's release, is on the complete opposite end of the production spectrum. This is Gore Noise, in my opinion, and it's fucking done great. If you know what you're getting into with this, this is not for everyone. But if you know Mullet Death Records and... Yeah, you know that little logo right there, anytime you see it, is pretty much a buy me. And again, this is not for everyone. Like, if you think like Bestial Putrefaction's too gnarly, if you think Piss Graves too gnarly, yeah, this is definitely gonna be too gnarly, but I can set some of you in a position where you might be able to enjoy this the way that I have been enjoying this because this is my shit sometimes I have to be in the mood for it and when I am fuck yeah because yeah a lot of my friends used to hate driving in the car with me when I was in these types of moods where all I wanted to listen to was noisy grindy madness because at full volume See, I, that's awesome. I'm sorry, that's awesome. And I understand a hundred percent if that just sounded like noise to you. But trust me, there was a little bit more going on than just noise. And that's one of those things that makes this little subgenre so interesting and fun. Sometimes you really don't know what's going on if you have it at maximum volume as I stand by. Maximum volume yields maximum results. But sometimes, especially if you're listening to something multiple times and you want to turn people on to it, different volumes, like, you know, if you're kind of new to really getting your feet wet in some sewage, like, let's say you just stumbled across, like, worm-ridden, the fetid demos, ruin, um, mephetic corpse, wundagong, Necropsy odors, a great example, honestly, and like even bone sickness, theater of morbidity, which would be to me the starting point here. So, real quickly, when it comes to Raw Attic, to me, this is amazing gore noise, and to you, it might just be fucking terrible noise, but that sucks to be your ears. Because I really dig this. And if you think it sucks to be my ears, hey, that's your opinion, and that's fine. But, like, flavor of wet refuse, just the whole entire thing is just gross and, like, come on, festering on finger and toenails, toxic vapors, inhalation, just gnarly stuff, mullet death records, um, Aggressive Valley Tapes and Sulfuric Culture at gmail.com. But this tape, like, that was just the uh, B side of things. 
Yeah, there's an A side, but I like starting with the B side sometimes, especially if I've been listening to something a lot. The B side, I think, is a lot more noisy, and that's why I wanted you folks to hear it. But, like, when it comes to Raw Addict, like, again, this is not for everyone. It's the complete opposite of the type of production that's on the Frozen Soul full length. So if that's what you're expecting here, you're looking in the wrong place. But if you're looking for some straight up savage underground music, look no further. Raw Addict is about as gnarly and as underground as it fucking gets if you need to be that guy and, you know... <laughs> Show your friends, like, hey, look what I got, you know, well, here, yeah, I have uh, the Raw Addict demo number two, to my knowledge, if I'm wrong, I apologize, but this is some sick shit, and here's the thing, when it comes to, like, I will one day make the gore video everybody wants, but for right now, when it comes to the whole like, you know, mint, gore grind, gore noise thing. I'm going to set you folks up really quickly on a, let's see if I can do this in five cassettes. I don't feel like searching through vinyl because I'm already like on my fifth take here because I keep fucking up. All right, that was pretty quick, actually. All right, here's where I would legitimately start. I would start with, and it might be hard to find a copy of it, but I would probably go with the Caligari sample-free version of Bone Sickness, Theater of Morbidity. It's extremely easy to get your feet wet with, like, and it's, you know, kind of one of, like, it's just amazing. Riff-wise, vocal-wise, the drumming is so fucking good. Just trust me on this. Bone sickness would be a great starting point. And from bone sickness, we're going to go to necropsy odor. Tales from the tepid cavity. And here's all you need to hear. And hopefully this wins you over. If you haven't heard this beast yet. <laughs> And if you dig that, I suggest diving in to miasmic necrosis, apex profane. As it's a lot, again, it's easy, easier to digest. And from there, you know, you can check out the fetid demo. Or I would honestly go for Mephetic Corpse, Immense Thickening Vomit. And if you're more of a death metal fan, get into the Sequestrium demo. But back to what I was saying... When it comes to gore noise, though, Raw Attic bring the filth. This is grimy shit for speed freaks all over the world. If this is still available on cassette, grab a copy. Because if you like your grind noisy, gory, and just out of control, yeah, check out Raw Attic. You'll fucking dig it. Almost guaranteed. If not, I mean, you're going to hate uh, some of the other releases Joshy sent over, but there's some sick ones. And yeah, I think a lot of you are going to be stoked. And I hope I can get some of you deeper down the death metal sewer. Because there's so much nasty shit that I don't get a chance to really go over that, like, I honestly prefer a lot more than some of the stuff I do get a chance to go over. And when I get that chance, I jump at it like a fucking shark. Because I just... 
I don't know. I just love when somebody hits me up, like, and it's just like, hey, thanks for getting me into blank, blank, blank. Like, recently, like, some of you that have open minds and whatnot have been hitting me up about All Else Failed. Like, holy shit, how did I not know this band existed? Etc. Etc. I love when I get those types of messages. They're, like, just, yes, I'm doing, like, my job. You know, like, I'm doing what I made this channel for, and that's to introduce people to underground music that's why sometimes i'm not trying to go out of my way anymore to get the newest newest stuff that i kind of deep down know is it's not gonna hit where it really needs to for myself personally right now i know what i like and you know a lot of late like some of the stuff caligari's been sending has been so good Transylvanian recordings, so good. Corpse Gristle, so good. And like, it's just gnarly. And Head Split always has gnarly, gnarly shit. It's just, you know, I'm not a close minded listener. So, like, I love the heavy metal shit. I love the fucking South American speed metal they get and stuff. So, like, I'm a big Head Split fan, but like, Somebody said to me, uh, like, about demos. They were like, ah, like, you know, demos are cool and all, but I, I just, uh, I'd rather hear the full length. And I'm kind of the opposite. Like, especially nowadays, I don't, it has nothing to do with me getting older, but, like, I honestly feel a lot of demos hold more weight than full lengths. But when it comes to Raw Attic, like I said, this is pretty much straight up gore noise, 100%, not for everybody, and that's the fucking point, like, even death metal's not meant for everybody, but, you know, I understand, you know, people need to eat, so, like, if you want to worship Entombed and go down that road, be my guest. You know, I really, like, that. if that's your thing, I, it's cool. Like, do whatever. But, like, I, I'd rather, you know, check out some bands I never, heard, like, heard of and stuff and get myself, like, ankles deep in, like, pure filth. You know, like, NVNM, like, Altar of Gore. I feel if they just had bigger, like, release numbers they would be so fucking big right now because like i mean the full length got a a good pressing on uh um nameless grave records but like nvnm handled the uh official cassette version of the full length and the uh promo version of the full length yeah, I'm I'm a nerd when it comes to NVNM stuff, but I do not have the new Blasphematory yet. Although I have the LP cassette and demo for Depths of the Obscurity, I sadly do not have the new Blasphematory yet. But yeah, like when people hit me up about like all else fail, it just makes me fucking so stoked because it's like. Hell yeah, like this 1997 masterpiece has been getting like new ears to listen to it lately. And to me, that's just it's fucking special. Like I said, it's one of the reasons I started this channel. And if I can help draw attention to any project, it just makes me happy. So, you know, like I said, this is not going to be for everyone, but definitely check it out. Raw Attic, demo number two. Sorry, I went to use my busted hand. Fingers. But yeah, demo number two, I'm pretty sure. And thank you to Joshi Rotten. We have two more cassettes of filth-driven gore and savagery to go over in the near future. So thanks again, Josh. And 
Thank you, sickos at home, for watching. Those recommendations I said, you can throw them out the window if you want. That's just my personal. Like, if I was to go up to somebody, I would probably also, you know, have to give them both piss grave tapes, my bestial putrefaction stuff, and um, probably miscarriage. Just because it's like sludge and gore put together, and it's like really gnarly. If you ever heard miscarriage, you know what I'm talking about. But um, yeah. And from there, you know, if like if you can dig that shit, that's when you can really appreciate like disgorge forensic and like that bulldozing gore grind assault. Cause I love that shit. But as always, thanks for watching. You fucking rule. Hails. Yeah.